IDW Publishing will likely be the first major comic publisher to fall after years of industry-wide mismanagement has left discouraged customers exiting the market. Welcome back to Thinking Critical. This is Wes, and I'm going to update the current financial situation in IDW after the company posted a $36 million loss for fiscal year 2018. This is a follow-up report to a video I created just three weeks ago, and the situation has gone from bad to worse, leaving the future of IDW Publishing in doubt. IDW Media Holdings announced they retain investment bank JP Morgan to manage a review of strategic relationships and alternatives. In this sense, strategic alternatives likely refers to a sale of all or part of the company, but could also include new financial backing or a strategic alliance with another company. This comes on the heels of a $36 million loss for fiscal year 2018, including a loss of $28.8 million in fourth quarter alone. This resulted in former CEO Kerry McClugage's firing and Howard Jonas's ascension to the position. IDW borrowed $28 million from Jonas last December after their credit rating dipped and the company was identified as in poor standing and subject to very high credit risk. We are working to extend our reach through new strategic partnerships while examining other alternatives to realize the full value of IDWM's outstanding IP portfolio and pipelines, IDWM Chairman and CEO Howard Jonas said in a statement. Jonas identified the company's comics and graphic novel content as well as TV programming as assets. As competition for audience continues to intensify on both traditional and streaming, over-the-top platforms, IDWM is well positioned to produce and feed stellar programming in domestic and international markets, he said in the statement. IDW Programming invested heavily in TV shows including October Faction, Winona Earp Seasons 4 and 5, V Wars, and Lock and Key, which accounted for $21.8 million in losses alone last year. Jonas has been lending tens of millions of dollars to fund production on the shows but the company is yet to see a return on investment. Production on Winona Earp recently delayed due to a lack of funding. Sci-Fi, the show's home, reaffirmed their commitment to the program, but the latest developments are less than hopeful. These are significant developments for the comic book industry, as IDW Publishing is the fourth largest publisher in the market. IDW's publishing operations accounted for only $3.4 million of the company's $36 million losses in 2018. Publishing sales declined $2.6 million in 2018 and saw 11% one-year and 22% two-year declines, outpacing market-wide trends. Thus far, there are no noticeable impacts to IDW Publishing's operations. IDW is in an unenviable position as a majority of their most valuable IPs like Ghostbusters, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Transformers, and G.I. Joe are licensed and not owned by the company. This likely limits the division's overall worth on the market, although the licenses do hold value. It appears CEO Howard Jonas is looking to recuperate some of the cash he's placed in the company. It doesn't look as if IDW Media holds much strategic value as a whole due to the scale of their losses. The publishing division could be seen as a valuable asset to a competitor looking to expand their licensed IP. The comic industry is in the midst of multiple years of market contraction, and February 2019 was one of the five worst sales months in recorded history, so risk in the current market is high. My strong belief is IDW Publishing and its catalog will belong to a market competitor or cease to exist in the next 12 months. IDW Publishing will likely be the first major comic publisher to fall after years of industry-wide mismanagement has left discouraged customers exiting the market. This is an ongoing situation of interest to the channel, and I'll continue to bring you the latest information as it's available. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I would appreciate it very much. It helps us attract more views for the channel. Subscribe for future commentary, comic book news, and reviews. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. If you want to talk comics, movies, and much, much more, you can follow me on Twitter at Wes underscore from underscore TC. With that, Salamat Po, and I'm out.